Hello and welcome to VTOSRO, a step towards design automation. This is a sample video of Skujack application part 2 where we will see the design automation of Skujack. The prerequisite of this software is Koi Wildfire Commercial Version 5. Let's start the application. As I said, part 2, part 1 dealt with the presentation part, the theoretical that was presented by Dr. O.P. Grover, Dean of Maharajagarsin Institute of Technology, Delhi. Um, an entire application including the presentation has been prepared by v.pro you can reach us at v.pro at gmail.com let's move on to the calculation part this is the input sheet where you can input the data um, as per your requirement for the sample video let me change this to 35,000 as I select this button it will make us go through the various step of uh, design procedure of screw jack first is the design of screw here it is the factor of safety is assumed by 6 and this gives us the various dimensions of screw but for this pitch the efficiency of screw jack is less so we need to change the pitch as I select this button the pitch of the screw will change and I will change the pitch of the screw unless and until this efficiency of screw jack is ok so now we can see the efficiency of screw jack is ok at pitch equal to 6 and, and just we will need the various um, uh, are the dimensions of the screw. Now the length of the nut does not lie between choice of the diameter and choice of the diameter. So we need to change the number of sets. So now the length of nut is okay. Now this, these are the various steps, um, various stresses, I'm sorry, which are um, applicable on the stress area, which gives us the calculated factor of safety as 3.5, oh, which is less. So the design of screw is not safe. So we need to change the factor of safety. As I click this uh, button, the factor of safety which we have assumed as 6 will be changed by this value which is given next to the step. So we will change till the time the design of screw is safe. So now we can see the design of uh, screw is safe. Uh, we move on to the design of Tommy bar. These are the dimensions of Tommy bar. So length of the nut. I'm sorry, length of Tommy bar is okay. If not, then we have to increase the number of persons. Um, next is the um, outer diameter. Next, we'll go to the design of nut. Um, these are the various dimensions of the nut. This is done by um, comparing the induced stresses with the allowable stresses, the respective allowable stresses. Next, we come to the design of frame. These are the dimensions of the frame. Last. Uh, the, the software also checks the screw, the entire um, assembly against the buckling. So it, all these param all these dimensions suggest that the screw jack is safe against buckling. So now the next part is to upload these values in our existing uh, model of screw jack, which is there. As you can see, let's visit the drawing of screw jack to see what are these what are the dimensions of um, the existing model as you can see these are the dimensions of the existing model let's compare this with our values as we can see a uh, random check um, the length of the length of uh, the Tommy bar is 702 mm, whereas in our existing model is 592 mm. So what will we do is upload these values in our existing model. As I select this button, this will update the Proe model. First, we need to make a connection with our existing model. And once the connection is established, we will update. Now, so as you can see, the connection has been established, so we will update the screw chart model. And it has been updated, so we need to regenerate it. As you can see, the model has been regenerated, so we will go and see the new drawing. And as you can see, the dimension of the Tommy bar has been updated and so is the other dimensions have been updated according to our calculation. So this is the entire procedure of um, um, design automation. Uh, 
you can reach us at v.pro at gmail.com for any design procedure you may need. Thank you.